Hey guys, Ryan Bailey for Charlotte FC. This is Between Two Pints, and joining me today is our Director of Player Personnel, Mr. Bobby Belair. Bobby, how are you doing today? Doing great, Ryan. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be talking about the expansion draft, which is happening this coming Tuesday. Austin FC are participating in this edition. Charlotte FC will be next year in 2021. But Bobby, you're somewhat of an expert on the expansion draft around these parts, so I want to pick your brain. Tell me, what exactly is it, and why does the MLS have an expansion draft? Yeah, well, the expansion draft really serves as a way for new franchises to acquire five players from current MLS teams, which really helps expansion clubs build their inaugural rosters. You know, MLS is such a unique league, and the expansion draft is a great way for new clubs to acquire players, particularly with MLS experience, which, you know, I find really important. So it's a way of getting experienced players on the roster. So um, Nashville and Inter Miami did it last year. Can you give some examples of some players that, that were taken in that draft? Yeah, yeah. If, if you look back at 2019, you know, Inter Miami had the first selection and they chose left back Ben Sweat, who ended up being their, their starting left back throughout the full season. And they also picked up a player like Lee Wynn. So there's a lot of, you know, he's a former MVP candidate. There are going to be some really good players out there up for selection. Um, you know, Nashville took a little bit of a different approach. They selected with their first pick um, an attacking player, Abu Dinladi, and then they negotiated a couple trades. Um, one of those trades landed them their starting goalkeeper, Joe Willis. Okay, so that sounds like there's trades and everything like that involved, and there's, uh, there are rules and there's a format to this draft. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? How does it actually go down on the day? Yeah, well, I would start with one, one of the biggest differences from last year to this year and even will, it will be the case for us in 2021, is that there's only one expansion club joining the league. So in 2019, there were two clubs, and they were kind of competing for the players, and they had to take turns selecting their picks. But for, for 2020 and, and 2021, uh, there's only one club coming in, so each club will, will have uh, the full rights to, the, to their five picks. Um, and, you know, and some of the rules and, and the format is that current clubs in the MLS, they're able to, to protect 12 players. Um, so they, you can go through every club's roster and 12 players is the maximum amount of players that they can protect. Um, one caveat to that rule is that homegrown players are exempt from selection. Okay, Bobby. So the teams who have players selected in this year's draft, they won't be eligible to participate when Charlotte take their turn in 21. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And since there were 10, 10 clubs that had players selected from them last year, there are 10 clubs who are exempt from this year's expansion draft. Okay, so tell us a bit about the eligible players list. This is the list of players who are available, uh, the, the players who aren't protected. Is that right? That's right. That, that's exactly right. And what's interesting is that this list only normally gets released 48 hours in advance of the expansion draft. But with the MLS Cup happening on December 13th, this year, Austin only gets one day to prepare. So the eligible player list, all the non-protected players that they can choose from, will be released at 1 p.m. on December 14th. Okay, that's interesting. And you mentioned uh, loans there earlier. So do, do, do trades and things take place during or after the expansion draft, Bobby? Yeah, typically the, the trades and trades will take place after the expansion draft. Now, that's not to say that clubs don't have these trades worked out beforehand or, you know, they would have discussed them beforehand. But typically the trades are made and announced after the expansion draft. And what about general allocation money? Are trades made for money or is it just for players? How does that work? Yeah, I mean, trades, you know, if you look at the history of the expansion draft, trades have been made for um, a lot of different things. It could be an international roster slot. It could be for allocation money. It could be for another player. Um, it could be for a super draft pick. So there's a lot of different ways, and, and clubs are, are pretty good about getting creative. All right. Well, the big question for you, Bobby, how closely is Charlotte FC following this edition of the expansion draft? Yeah, very closely. I mean, we, we see this as a great opportunity to go through our own process as we continue to build. Um, you know, we've been watching MLS matches and players closely all season, and, and we're actually preparing to do an exercise amongst our own staff on the 15th. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I think one of the biggest things to, to think about is we'll have the benefit of learning from Austin this season, and then we'll be able to watch them and, and their selections and how their selections panned out for them in 2021. So you know, we see it as a big advantage and, and we want to do really well. We think the expansion draft is important for us. So we're taking this very seriously. So you guys say you're doing an exercise on the day of the expansion draft. Does that mean you're doing a fantasy expansion draft? You can call it something like that, Ryan. 
<laughs> sounds good to me. So it sounds like the preparation is underway for 2021 then. Yes, it is. Um, I, you know, and I think that the pre preparation begins with knowing the MLS player pool and continuously evaluating those who we feel will be good fits for Charlotte FC. Um, you know, we do have some time before the 2021 MLS expansion draft, but like I said, we'll be placing a lot of emphasis on getting the expansion draft right because we really believe that the draft is crucial for an expansion team to be successful in year one. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much, Bobby, for your insights there. The expansion draft takes place this Tuesday at 6 p.m. You can watch it on MLS's streaming platforms. But for now, Bobby, cheers. Cheers, Ryan.